Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about being mission driven. Stay mission driven. Your mission is the message. Your mission is righteousness, not money, not status. Your mission is not fans. You're not trying to become stronger so you can be rich. I'm not here to help you get rich. I don't care about your wealth. I do life coaching and mentoring. I love helping people and that's why I do it. I've gotten to a certain strength, a certain level of the game and I feel obligated to share my expertise. And I don't expect reciprocity. Of course, I'm in business and I don't coach for free. I charge you, to be honest. I do charge people. But it's really just a way to charge people for my time. It's not a way to get rich off of people. The reciprocity that I get is not from your paycheck. It's not from your money. It's from God. I can get to sleep at night and know that today I helped somebody that I shared. Life is about sharing. Some people think life is about conquering, conquest. It's a faulty notion that's not warriorship. A warrior isn't about conquest and conquering. A warrior is about helping and go to battle for righteousness to protect you get respect in this world by being a real deal motherfucker not by being rich I know a lot of rich people and I don't respect many of them I don't care about your fucking money I care about your message I know a lot of wealthy people that are very shallow hollow people I wish I could take some of you over to the other side of town where the mansions are and take you inside so you can see that just because they have a big giant house and the kind of cars that you only dream about doesn't mean that they're happy. My personal opinion is that someone who hustles is never happy. A hustler is never happy. Helpers are happy. See, a lot of people out there are just victims of our society, of the media. A lot of people out there have developed this personality of it's like an insanity, I guess. This insatiable insanity. I don't know what else to call it. It's a spirit of covetousness. You covet everything. You, you lust for things. And people who do that never get enough. That's why they have 30, 40, 50 cars. You say, well, I just love cars. <sighs> Shut up. You're a fucking drug addict. You're addicted to money. You're addicted to status can't drive 30 Cadillacs at once. You can only drive one at once. These type of people, they, they never get enough. It's never enough. That luxury apartment isn't enough. You have to have a mega mansion. One nice car isn't enough. You have to have 10. For all you people out there that are just regular working stiffs like me, I'm promising you right here, I'm telling you right here, this is truth. You're not missing out on anything. Be the best version of yourself, but that doesn't mean you have to strive to be someone else. Be happy to be you and where you are. Life isn't about money and mansions. It's about the message and your mission a mission of righteousness, of providing and protecting for your family. That's what manhood is about. Manhood isn't about status. Some guy with a big fat cigar and a big house. And that, that's not manhood. So 
you want respect in this world, you have to be raw and real. You have to be mission driven and message driven, not money driven or mansion driven. That stuff, wealth is a byproduct of how hard you work. Let the things that you own work for you. Don't work for them. You're not working towards wealth. Wealth isn't your goal. Have nice things, but have it work for you. I'm not saying that it has to generate income for you. What I'm saying is that the reason why you have that nice car is because it works for you. You didn't work for that nice car. That's not what this is about. It's not about the goddamn truck with chrome rims in the fucking driveway. It's about the message and the mission. And I bought that truck because it works for now. And if my things, the things that I own, if those things ever become my master, if that becomes my mission, And I've lost respect for myself. The Lord loses respect for you when you chase money. Don't work for things. Let things work for you. And as soon as the things become your master, you must drop those things. Anything that rules you, that you feel like that you're working for a thing, get rid of that thing. Throw it away. I don't know. Some people get it. Some people don't. You can spend your day trying to stack up their, your points, your bank account, so you can get a little closer to that luxury lifestyle that you fantasize about, but what makes you different than any of these other utopian postmodernist fools? There's no such thing as utopia. Live in the real world, in the here and now. Today is about the mission. Today is about the message. It's all food for thought.